as an artist that rarely gives lectures or public talks, it's been a really amazing experience because it's given me the chance to meet and speak with some of the people that have been following me and supporting my work. Well, I think the Nikon D810 probably is the best camera I've ever used. Well, I hope to inspire uh, fellow photographers and enthusiasts uh, through various sources, such as uh, my website and social media. I guess I got started when I was 12 years old and I found my first guitar in the loft when my mum and dad moved house. Welcome to this Nikon School video about a very special gold-plated camera. Here we have a unique chance to take a look at the Nikon F3 that was adapted by Nikon for NASA. But don't forget we have built-in Wi-Fi so you can connect to your mobile devices. You will be happy to hear there is no compromise though. This lens is sharper than ever. Very often photographers really struggle to shoot fireworks. You're shooting in low light, you're shooting with very fast moving objects. In this example, we've got plenty of light, it's a bright day. So we need to turn our ISO down. Your DSLR has single, continuous low and continuous high burst modes. With these modes, we can achieve many frames a second in one burst. This the next example will be taken at 15th of a second, which is a much slower shutter speed. As you can see, the movement in the camera and the subject both contributes to how the image looks. Photo shoot, and in contrast to what we're doing elsewhere in the building, we've been able to make it look very high end, the kind of thing you'd see in a fashion magazine. And to do that, we're using quite harsh lighting in places. We're getting deliberate reflections off walls. Here are some top tips for sports photography. First up, manual mode with auto ISO. Days of my eyes. Welcome. This Nikon School video recaps some of the information covered on the DSLR video courses. The rule of thirds is simply a grid that uses thirds horizontally and vertically. With this example we will change group A from 0 to plus 1. 